Hey guys, it's Lydia. I just recorded this video on this makeup tutorial. I used all drugstore products, so it's super affordable. If you want to see how I achieved this look, then stay tuned. So I already primed my face using the NYX Shine Killer, and that I just purchased from CVS. Now I'm going in with a beauty sponge from e.l.f., which was about $5. I'm using that to put my foundation on, and I'm using L'Oreal's Infallible Pro Glow in the color 212. And I also mixed it with Revlon's Photo Ready Skin Lights in the color Bronze Light. That's number 400. And both of those items I believe I picked up from Walgreens, but you can find them at any drugstore. Or CVS, Rite Aid, Dwayne Reed, all of them should carry those two items. So now I'm going to start my concealing process. Yes, it is a process. I'm using the Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles by Maybelline, and the color I'm using is Honey Mill. While that dries a little, I am going to start working on my eyebrows, which I'm currently growing out, so there's really no great shape there, but I'm just going to fill in and make them a little darker, and I'm using a pencil from e.l.f. I think it was about $3. I purchased it at the e.l.f. store. So now I'm just going back in to blend that concealer out and I'm just going to use the top of the sponge. And so certain areas where I feel like I bought the concealer down too low or bought it up too high, I just use the opposite end of the sponge, which still has foundation on it. Now this is part two of my concealer process. I'm going in with the concealer from LA Girl, and it's the Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer. And the color I'm using is Cool Tan. And I did purchase this from my local beauty supply store, and I think it was about $2.99, something around there. It's really, really inexpensive. So I'm also taking that LA Girl Pro Concealer and going to conceal underneath my brows just to give my brows a bit more of a cleaner look. And then once again I'm going in and I'm going to blend, blend, blend with that e.l.f. sponge. And blending is so important. This will make or break your look. So blending is a must. So here's the part where I messed up a bit. I actually thought I was using the Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder, but once I finished this look, I realized that I emptied all of that out and poured banana powder and topaz powder from Ben Nye into the jar. 
So <laughs> I am actually using a Ben Nye powder, which isn't as affordable as something from the drugstore. Now I'm going back in with that Maybelline concealer and I'm going to use that to prime my eyelids. I got this from Walgreens. It was about anywhere from 7 to 10 bucks and I really like to prime my eyes with this. I feel like my eyeshadows last really long when I use it. And now I'm just going in with the CoverGirl Queen uh, bronzer in Ebony Bronze. And I really like this shade to use as a transition color for my eyeshadows. And as you can see, I'm just blending it into my crease. And now I'm going in with the e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow. And this color is called Molten Bronze. And I've been a big fan of these liquid eyeshadows. I purchased mine from the e.l.f. store. But I know Maybelline has a ton of shades out. And they work just as well if not better and the covergirl queen collection bronzer i purchased from walgreens I really like this liquid eyeshadow. I knew for this look that I wasn't going to layer anything on top of it. I just wanted a shiny bronzy look. So I did layer this about two times and it actually came out very, very pretty. Um, one thing you do want to do is make sure it dries before you open your eyes because it will crease. Now I'm going in with a black eyeshadow and that eyeshadow is from the Maybelline The Nudes palette and I'm just going to place that where I want it which is in the crease and then I'm going to take a fluffy brush which is the same brush I used to put the bronzer in my crease. I'm just going to use that and blend it out. The CoverGirl bronzer I purchased from Walgreens and the Nudes palette by Maybelline I purchased at Rite Aid. Now I'm just placing my bronzer in the hollows of my cheek, down the sides of my nose, and around my forehead, and underneath my lip. Now I'm going in with my powder and it's the Iman Luxury Pressed Powder in the color Earth Dark. This is my favorite powder hands down. I've been using it for about three years now. You can purchase it at Walgreens and Target and it's just a really good powder. So here I'm just blending out my contour and I'm also going to blend out that powder that I set my concealer with. So here is how I'm going to fix the little accident we had earlier. I'm using an e.l.f. bronzer palette in the color Bronze Beauty and I just took that color on the top right and it has a little shimmer in it so it brightens the eye. Sometimes I use this alone to set my under eye concealer or I layer it as you guys saw in this video. So I'm also going to go over the areas that I highlighted on my face, like the bridge of my nose and my chin, just to add some more highlight and bring back some light to those areas. I actually picked up this palette by accident. I thought I was getting the darker shade, but um, they're actually sold out and they've been sold out. I check e.l.f. often to see if they have it. Um, but it definitely works for darker complexions to set concealer. So if you haven't tried it, definitely check it out. 
So now once again, I'm just blending, blending and blending. And I'm also going to put this color underneath my eyebrow where I concealed as well. So now I'm just going in and I'm going to line my waterline and I'm using a prestige eyeliner and it's in the color golden brown and prestige you can find at Dwayne Reed in New York City I'm not sure where they sell them out of the state and I'm also going under the lash line with that bronzer once again and just going to just darken my lash line just a tad bit not too much So now I'm going in with my blush and I'm using a blush from Black Radiance. It's the Artesian Color Baked Blush and the color I'm using is Warm Berry. I really, really love these blushes. They're like an oldie but a goodie. They're super pigmented and they're about $5 and I got mine from Walgreens. So now I'm going in with a fan brush and I'm adding my highlight. I'm using another Black Radiance Artesian Color Big Bronzer. And this one is in the color Ginger Snap. I love this product so much. I've been using it on and off for about 4-5 or five years. And it's so pretty. It's technically a bronzer, but on me it works as a highlight. It has these pretty gold swirls in it. And it's just so, so pretty. I love this stuff a lot. So definitely check out the baked bronzers from uh, Black Radiance. They are super amazing. And yes, I am adding a lot of highlight. Highlighting is one of my favorite things to do, so I go a little overboard, and I'm just adding some underneath the brow bone, and then I'm going to blend that out. And if you ever add too much highlight, you can always go over it with your powder brush and that'll take away some of the glow. But I wanted this look to be very bronzy and glowy, so I went a little crazy. And as you see here, I'm just going over some sections with my powder. Now I'm going in with my mascara and it's from Maybelline. I am definitely using a lot of Maybelline products in this video. It's the Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect, and I really like this mascara. My eyelashes are super curly, super tight, coiled, and they don't straighten for anyone, and normally I have to use a uh, primer for my lashes, so this works great, and I don't have to prime my lashes when I use it, so really love this stuff. Now I'm just going back in with a small brush and I'm adding some of that Ginger Snap Baked Bronzer from Black Radiance. I'm just adding it to the corner of my eye just to add a little more pop to my eyes. And then I'm going to put my mascara on my lower lashes. And now for the lips, I'm going in with a lip pencil from the brand Prestige. Again, you can find this brand at Dwayne Reed. It's really inexpensive. It was about $2 or maybe $3. And this color is called Deep Plum. I am going to line my lips and then fill in my lips. Now I am going to go in with NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick and it's in the color Sandstorm and this is a matte. It is super pretty. It's a good nude for brown girls and I love, love, love this color. So after I finish putting that on, I am going to grab that lip liner again and just reline my lips. Now I'm just going to apply some brow gel to my brows to keep the hairs in place and my look is complete. 
the hair I'm rocking here is the Gabrielle wig by Tony Daly and I just have a bun at the top of my head and this is the look. Thank you guys for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave a comment below. Let me know if you like this look or if you've tried any of these products. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you guys soon.